They've been racing for hundreds of years here in Madrid, but it's not the sport of kings, horse racing, that is our concern on this day. We're about to crown our own king. Sepkus is about to win La Vuelta. Stage 21 coming to the great city. Nine laps in town to decide the last stage winner and then to crown the winners of all of the jerseys. And new jerseys, I have to say, for Jumbo Visma. They've dominated the Grand Tours, not leaving too many rich pickings for the other teams. But they had another chance to take advantage on the day. You'd have to be brave or quick to win stage 21 of La Vuelta. Ayuso, the young riders classification winner. Sepp Kuss, our overall champion. Evan Apol, of course, in the polka dots. And Caden Groves, surely in green. Well, it was an intermediate sprint and then a fast finale on a three-legged star to decide our final stage winner and secure that green jersey should Groves come through for victory. An intermediate sprint along the way was going to be a temptation and all the jerseys came together for the photo opportunities at the top of the day. Luis Leon Sanchez about to bow out after a, a long and illustrious career and remembering Nathan Van Hoydonk as well. Well, we love Sepkus as well. Average pace was not at the highest, but it suddenly picked up once we came into town. Would anyone be tempted to go long? And the answer, thankfully, was yes. First, we had to deal with the intermediate sprint. Caden Groves got himself up for that, just making sure that that green jersey became ever more secure upon his shoulders. And then, as the laps ticked down, suddenly there was action. Nico Dentz, Leonard Kemner, both from Bora Hansgrohe, and Rui Costa from Intermarche Circus Wanty. What would be the response? It came from Remco Evenepoel. He kicked on. Caden Groves realised that his jersey was perhaps under threat. Should he get no points and Evenepoel win the day, that would be disaster. So he set off as well in pursuit. Likewise, Philip Ogana, along with Omar Freyle and Kim Hajduk. Well, soon the teammates of Ghana disappeared and he was left up front with some real talent that was something to tempt everyone else in the chase leading it for much of the day was EF Education Easy Post UAE Team Emirates also had an interest of course and the gap hovered between 12 and 20 seconds only but the kilometers kept going and by the time we heard the bell this was the last chance saloon for those who would stop those up ahead at the three kilometre mark, we had yet another almost dead turn, the last of which came just before the Flamme Rouge and then the drag race to the line. Would it get cagey amongst those up front? The gap was narrowing and the answer to the first question was yes. They were kind of looking at each other, nobody wanting to lead any others in. And indeed, the hounds were starting to close in on the hares up front. Evan Apol was the first to break for it, going swiftly in on his lead. Nico Dentz was there, so was Leonard Kemner. Pippo Garner, when would he charge? And could Rui Costa hold on? Evan Apol looked to have a big gap. There was some rush room potentially for Caden Groves. He picked it up. It was a battle between the pair of them to the line, it seemed. And then Pippo Garner also came to join the fray at the very last, closing rapidly. And Groves could not be sure of the victory, so he threw the bike at the line and took it. And with it, that green jersey. Spectacular finish, like no other. But this race has thrown up plenty of surprises. No surprise that Jumbo Visma won, but perhaps a surprise that it was Sepkus in the end. Groves getting his win, his third indeed of this race and confirming himself as a super strong sprinter and worthy winner of the green jersey. Well, the overhead shot just showed how Pippo Garner was closing in. Groves looked and then threw again. He just could not be sure until crossing the line, but he got there in the end. Wonderful days racing. Eamon Paul sitting up at the last to finish in eighth place. Groves, Garner, Dents, Hugo Page getting up from the pack with Ivan Garcia Cortina. Rui Costa finished sixth ahead of Vandenberg, Evenepoel, Van Gestel and Kemner. 
But it was all about Sepp Kuss. He came home, an American winner, a super nice guy as well. And what a podium. Locked out by Jumbo Visma. Kuss, Vingago and Roglic, the one, two, three. Margin of victory, just 17 seconds ahead of his teammate Vingago. Roglic at a minute and eight. And then the young riders classification winner, Ayuso, also there. He joined on the podium by Evan Apollin Polka Dots, who also won the Combativity Award, Groves in green, and of course Sepp Kuss in the coveted red jersey. He is our champion. An amazing race with amazing competitions throughout. Let's hope that the 79th edition is just as magnificent when we start in Lisbon, in Portugal. We thank you for your company on what's been an amazing event. My name's Carlton Kirby. Thanks for the company. <laughs>